All right, this is a member video. This is a preview of uh, our future speak show, and RV is uh, showing you the analysis on 10 year yields. And I think you're going to find this quite interesting. Uh, he was talking about the potential for yields to go higher, and you will see that in this video. So this is TNX, and this is really very important. So in the opener, we highlighted that the bond market is getting into a very risky period here, and it's really having us look at that older ghosted cycle now that we have on the futures as what could be the actual dominant cycle and would really be a, a much more negative situation. Let's see how that shows up on this chart right here. So what we're looking at and what we've been highlighting is that there was a key bottom that was due here in the 10-year yield market with the low that was due 425 to 530. What you'll see is that this formed a flag into this rising 13-week simple moving average in black and then has now turned back up on the upside. So we are in the early stages of this rising phase here on the weekly in the yields. What we're looking at is two cases. Our overall base case was for more of a range here in the yield market and then for a retest of the old highs around the 3.17% uh, level here in the 10-year yield. What we're now looking at is the possibility that we actually move through that old high and then get up into these higher levels here, which come in from around this 340 to 346 area here on the upside, which is this green track right here. So very important time period as we are early in this rising phase here in, in yields to see how it can do in this rising phase. It'll tell us if it can get through this prior high at 31.67 and then really stay above that. It'll say that, that 34 to 34.60 is really the next upside target here in the yield market. Let's go ahead and shift over to the daily chart. Now we have two out of phase cycles here in the 10 year yield as we had both of these coming into a period where they were due to form lows. We would call this a nesting period. And then we got into the rising phase on both of these cycles right here. Let's zoom in a bit. So we are in the rising phase on both of these out of phase cycles and now looking at a key zone. Our base case was really drawn in black where we would have looked for this to then pull back into this next key timing low on this black cycle, which is due around the end of June. But what we're looking at is now this green track where we actually get through the 78.6 at 3073 and then get up into this prior high here at 3167, which is this green track. If that were to happen, it would say that the bear case in bonds is really very much in play. So very important to see, can we get through the 78.6 in yields? If, it, if so, we'd be looking for a, a move at the very least in the short term to the prior swing high here at 3167 uh, in the 10-year yield market. So very interesting uh, pattern here and really setting up much more bearishly than what we had originally forecasted here in yields, which was already a really more bearish forecast. Great job, Aubrey. That really is in alignment with what we're seeing here with yields moving up.